Welcome back to Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show. I have a, a, a wonderful guest here with me. His name is Damon Nett, and he's going to talk about how to build dynamic and a special team. And uh, welcome, Damon. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me, Amy. It's, it's great nice, to be here. It's nice to have you. And um, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Sure. Um, so I work in a pretty dynamic profession that's new to a lot of people. Uh, it's called interim executive leadership. And what that means is I step into organizations as a non-full-time executive and help lead them through transformation or change, uh, help them uh, capitalize on opportunities that they might not have the skills within their own executive ranks to do. Uh, or sometimes, um, you know, an executive will leave suddenly, things like that, and they'll need a real leader to step in, not a placeholder, someone who can lead the team, drive change, help develop strategy, and help the organization transform in, again, ways that they can't do uh, with their current team. So basically, if you're just switching from one exact, like a different manager management and all that, would you help them to trans? You know, that's a very common role. A yeah. lot of times, I'll step in. Uh, for example, I myself hold seats as chief executive officer, chief information officer, or chief operations officer. Typically, so organizations that have needs, say, for maybe they're having an operational problem, like they're trying to enable a global supply chain, and their team just doesn't have all of the skills necessary to do that well. They'll hire me as an expert, someone who's done it over and over again. I've led over 50 meaningful transformations at organizations ranging from really like pre-revenue startups all the way to Fortune 500. So I bring a lot of skills uh, and uh, experience to the table that oftentimes just isn't there with the regular team that doesn't need those skills on a daily basis. So I'm really a, a, a change artist for business. Okay, so if your organization, um, they have a specific different kind of business, how would you guide them if you, you've never been in that business before or there is somewhere that you gained all this information and, and you study about them? To give us a little bit more about that. Uh, well, that's a great question. So I've been doing this work since the early 90s, uh, so working at the tops of organizations. I started out leading massive technology initiatives, uh, you know, like some of them as large as $10 million, uh, replacing the, really the guts of companies, uh, large companies, with new technology. So when you do that type of work, you not only have to be uh, great at technology and be able to lead those teams, but you have to be able to help align technology with business value and business outcomes, manage process change on a global scale or a large scale for the organization so that they can benefit from that. So by doing that work for about the first dozen years of my career, um, like oftentimes 80, 100 hours a week. I just gained a lot of experience in helping organizations and I saw a lot of dysfunction that was common from one company to the next in terms of teeing up these massive transformations so that they could be successful. And the interesting thing I learned was even though at the time I was really focused on technology was that a lot of organizations, the things that challenged them in um, completing these large-scale transformations. It was never the technology or things that hadn't been done before, although all of those projects were like that. It was really the business basic. So what does the organization need? What is the scope? What resources in terms of people and money can we devote? Um, how do we know that if we're done that we will get the value? How to bring value closer um, rather than say maybe have a three-year initiative and not get any value until the end of it? How can we break this thing up and start creating value immediately? So by doing that time and time again, I, I became good at coming into unfamiliar situations, following smoke to fire, and then leading the organization through what they needed to do to be successful and be strong at the end of that. And when when would you think the organization, they start, they st need to start to feel like, okay, we need someone like yourself. It's about time. We're changing. And as you know, a change is very difficult. Yes. Technology, when you're switching your employees, they're used to one thing. And now there's technology comes in and everything's switching. Um, but they, they ignore that, that they need that kind of, you know, uh, how yeah. important that could be because your employees are uh, not comfortable you know, exactly. with the situation. So when do you think the company should say, okay, it's time to have someone like yourself? Um, so if they're forward thinking, it would be as soon as they recognize that they have a pretty major skill gap in something that they're trying to do at the executive level. But the reality is most of my clients engage me when they're in the middle of something that's very painful and they're kind of forced to the decision point to realize we just don't have all of the skills that we need. And of course, with the rapid uh, pace of change, I mean, 
nanotechnology, gig economy, cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, self-driving cars, like all this rapid change is really exhausting the capacity of executive teams to have all the right skills at all the right times for all the specific challenges they're dealing with. That's what interim executive leadership is about, is on-demand talent to solve specific needs at the top of organizations. And the great thing that most people don't realize is the benefit to using an interim executive is I show up, I lead a specific um, initiative, and then I leave. Um, so, you know, there's no long-term commitment. They're not putting me on, you know, under an employment agreement or, you know, um, things like that that are typically part of long-term employment contracts. So it can be very nimble and dynamic, a way to lead an organization to higher ground. So we're talking about here a little bit, a company, have, how many employees would you say? that could benefit from your services? Uh, so companies that I help, uh, as I mentioned, are you know from really a million dollars or less all the way up to billions of dollars in mm -hmm. revenue. So it depends on the specific need. It depends obviously on their budget and things like that. But a lot of times people have the misunderstanding thinking interim executives must be very expensive. But one day of my time is often uh, much more um, make much more progress in just one day than a normal executive would. Um, so most of my clients engage me fractionally. I might be a one or two day a week chief information officer as compared to a full time person in that position because with my skills and experience, I'm able to help the organization much more rapidly than maybe a long term executive would. And then of course, I'm always helping my clients with smooth transition. So a lot of times I'm helping hire or place my permanent replacement. And then a lot of times, um, those companies move me to their board of directors or advisory boards or things that I stay in the mix and can help create that continuity. So what happened to a, a company if they don't invest their time and money to have someone like you to keep them current? They, they basically start to go backwards. Yeah. Is that, is that a sign for them? Because well, we're helping them how to. So it's a sign for the company to say why we're going backwards, why we're not doing as well as we did five years ago. Exactly. Probably because we're not keeping up and, and investing in someone like yourself. That's exactly it. And again, it usually tends to be some sort of specific need. Sometimes it's a brand new opportunity, like we want to launch a brand new product line and for whatever reason we don't have the skills we need in that area. But a lot of times it's dealing with um, long tenured problems or things like that that the, again, the current team just can't solve because they don't have the skills or the perspective. Um, one thing I see a lot is that I'm an independent voice to the top of the organization. You know, when you're a full-time employee, you have to worry about making your boss happy. What if I say the sure. wrong thing? What if I get sideways with that person. I'm only interested in driving results, so I have to speak the truth and speak it purely. And you and don't have to be with them all the time there, so you're coming exactly. in and out. There is no hard feeling as I'm telling you, you're doing the right thing or you're doing the wrong thing. So that's, that's a great, I mean, it's very valuable to have somebody like yourself with, for the investment of the company. I mean, that's just uh, almost uh, kind of like uh, security. You need to make sure they're secure in that area to be doing the right things. And that's why, um, you know, quote unquote, smart money, venture capital funds, and private equity are using more interim executive leadership mm -hmm. for their portfolio companies to make sure that they are using best practices or falling in with the um, portfolio Absolutely. standards for running the company. And I'm really, um, when I step into an organization, regardless of the seat I hold, I'm oftentimes teaching and helping the executive team with all kinds of skills. So how do you organize for success? How to take advantage of operational efficiency? How to assess if you're efficient enough, right? A lot of teams struggle and, with these and, things. And now we want to know how they can get hold of you. So <laughs> if you don't mind, just uh, tell them where is where they can get a hold of you, your website, your yep. information. Uh, so my upcoming book, Exformation, uh, details all of the principles that interim executives use to create results time and time again. And you can find out more about me and the book at cxoserviceco.com. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your wisdom with everyone. And who knows, maybe one company say, oh, well, you know what? I really need to step up <laughs> and uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you and your information. And um, for you, I, I know you enjoyed listening uh, to this great information he shared with us today. It is very important and uh, don't go anywhere because I have a next guest coming and you are going to learn even more stuff.